So if you replace an O2 sensor and the code keeps coming back, I thought I'd go over some of the causes of this and how you go about finding out what's causing the code to come back. And so the first thing to do if the code does keep coming back is be sure to check for any other codes. Because if you are getting any other codes, then it'll help point you to what the problem is. For example, if you have an O2 code that keeps coming back, but you're also getting a P0101, very likely you have a dirty or bad math sensor and you just need to go check that out. So first thing, be sure to check for other codes. And so there's going to be three main things that could cause an O2 sensor code to come back. And that's going to be the O2 sensor circuit, the exhaust is clogged or it's leaking, and the engine is running either rich or lean. And so any of these things can throw off the O2 sensor and cause the O2 sensor to throw a code. And so the first thing is be sure that the code cleared. If you don't have an OBD2 scan tool, you can usually remove one of the battery cables for like a minute or two to make the code clear. Sometimes the code won't clear until you get a drive cycle or things like this. So basically make sure that the code cleared. The next thing is go check the O2 sensor wiring for any opens or shorts. Be sure nothing shoot through the wiring like rodents or anything like that because that does happen sometimes. So the next thing is go check the wiring and be sure that it all looks good. The next thing is be sure you don't have no blowing fuses or a bad relay since that will cause problems if a fuse blew. For example, here's a 2005 Toyota Tacoma and it has AF heater. That would be the fuse for the O2 sensor. It also has a relay, AF heater relay right here. If the fuse blew or that relay had problems, then it would cause an issue. So that would be the first thing is to check out the O2 sensor circuit and be sure everything is good inside the circuit that the air code cleared. There's no opens or shorts and you don't have no blowing fuses or bad relays. If that all looks good, then the next thing to go and look at is check out the exhaust system. You're going to want to check and see if the catalytic converter is clogged or if you have a possible exhaust leak. Exhaust leaks are usually fairly obvious, although not all the time, but usually you'll be able to hear it a little louder or you'll be able to see it. There's different ways you go about testing if the catalytic converter is clogged. One way you could do it is you could use the infrared temperature gun and you could check the, the temperature going in and the temperature going out. And if the temperature going out is hotter than the temperature going in, then it's working properly. But if the temperature is cooler going out, then there's likely an issue. I made a video on that. I'll put a link down below if you need to check that out. But the next thing to go and do is to check out the exhaust and check to see if it's clogged or if you got a leak somewhere because that's going to throw off that O2 sensor. And then the next thing is going to be if the engine is running rich or lean. And when this happens, it's going to be something's going on inside the engine. So you might have something like a bad or dirty MAF sensor, a bad injector, vacuum leak, and possibly a bad onboard computer. For example, a P0171 code. This can be kind of a problematic code since so many different things can cause this issue. I've made some videos on this before. Or I'll put a link down in the description for that if you do have that issue. But basically, when the engine's running too rich or too lean, you're, you're going to want to figure out if it's a fuel issue or if it's an air intake issue. So you're going to want to go through and check the MAF sensor, be sure that's good. You could do a fuel pressure test to be sure that the fuel delivery is good. This went and tell you if you have a bad injector, but everything up to that point, like the fuel pump, there's no blockage in the fuel lines, no clogged fuel filters. A fuel pressure test would tell you if anything like that is going on. And you can also check for a vacuum leak since that can throw off things too. There's different ways you go about doing that. I like to use a smoke machine, but there's different methods for checking for a vacuum leak, but that would be another thing to go and look for. But basically, if you checked out that O2 sensor circuit, that all checked good. There's nothing wrong with the exhaust. Nothing's clogged. There's no leaks. Then check out how the engine's running, and this means that you're going to have to check for a fuel-related problem or air intake-related problem. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to go over some of the causes of why an O2 sensor code might be coming back even after you replace the O2 sensor. If you have anything to add, please Please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.